Hey guys, it's me, it's me, it's Michael B. Thank you so much for checking out the video. And today, we got a little bit of news to share with you as we get an update from At Games on the flipper leg is a resolution in sight. On top of that, Canadian Arcade 1UP fans, The Brick is having a big tent sales event coming up from May 2nd to May 9th. You may want to check out what cabs will be available, plus even a little bit of Toy Shock love. And I'm going to tell you more about it right after this. So that's right guys, we got a little bit of home arcade news to share with you today. It's not that big news that we're all looking for, like a new cab from Arcade 1UP or an announcement coming up from New Wave Toys and GRS or possibly whatever John D's cooking. When that news hits, we're going to celebrate a little something like this. No, it's not that big news, of course, but we do have some fun news to share as Zen Studios and At Games have provided a little bit more clarity on what's going on with the flipper leg situation on the Zen Studio releases, Pinball FX releases on the At Games Legends Pinball 4KP. Hopefully, we will have some resolution soon. On top of that, we've got a huge brick sale going on from May 2nd until May 20th. They're clearing, clearing out some stock on arcade one-up cabinets as well as Toy Shock pinballs. If you've ever been curious in the Toy Shock, now may be the time to grab it. Plus, there's some display models that are on sale as well that... I'm going to tell you about, but before we get into all that, I want to say thank you so much for checking out the video, guys. I always appreciate the support. If this is your first time to the channel, you like what you see, go ahead, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, all that YouTube jazz. So the At Games Legends Pinball 4KP has been getting pretty rave reviews across the board, despite which model you chose. This is a video by my buddy Half a Dozen, his At Games Legends Pinball Attack from Mars 4KP. The machine itself looks fantastic. People are impressed with the SSF kit. The actual cabinet itself is beautiful. Everything it does, people love it. But the one thing that people are a little bit irritated with, more than anything else, is the performance on the Zen Studios Pinball FX tables talking about the flipper leg over and over again and it seems like there's no resolution in sight for these people. Unfortunately, this flipper leg issue has been something that's been a known issue since before the machine even came out going all the way back to the Pinball Expo when they had a beta build on display and when the very first videos of Adam's family running on the Legends Pinball 4K, like from Wagner's Tech Talk right here, showed up on the internet. People have been fixated on the flipper leg issue and you know what? Rightfully so to some extent. Well, one thing I have to give At Games a ton of credit for, they've never shied away from the claims about flipper leg on the Zen Studios Pinball FX tables on the At Games Legends 4KP. They've openly said it's a known issue, they're working on it, and I know people are frustrated because it's taking so long. I mean, the machine's been out now since January, and people are still experiencing these issues. But an update went out from At Games that actually came from Zen Studios this past Friday. I just want to share it with you guys here now. So, quick update from Zen Studios. Pinball fans, as we we've mentioned in previous communications we're still hard at work addressing the flipper leg on zen studios pinball tables for the at games legends 4k pinball machines and this continues to be a priority for us zen has updated us that they have gone straight to the source and teamed up with tech experts epic games and google to help them tackle this challenge head on all teams are diving deep into the issue and hope to find a resolution resolution soon stay tuned for more updates thank you for your continued patience and support as we continue to work it out now this is not new news this goes all the way back i've been talking about this for months when pinball fx originally came out it came out on the epic game store and there was a conversion to the switch that didn't work all that well at first some updates had to be done 
Right now, it seems to be the flipper leg issue may date back to the original build in Pinball FX. Even though this is the Android build, there seems to be a handshake issue going on. And now with Epic Games and Google being involved, hopefully they can finally resolve that issue. So guys, I appreciate the clarity that's provided in this update. Of course, Zen Studios originally built this thing in the Epic Game Store and uh, in the Google Play Store. And what they're really doing is they're porting this to the At Games hardware and something's just not connecting right. Like Rostalgia mentioned on Super Game Room Dudes this past week, some kind of handshake issue. I'm not a tech guy, so I don't understand it. But I've heard this before and it's great now they're making this public knowledge. A lot of people have said, oh, the machine's not strong enough to run it, or, you know, it's a bad port. We've seen that the machine is strong enough to run things in 4K. You look at the ones that were built directly for the machine, like the Zachariah games, like the Gottlieb games, those run well. Hopefully now, with support from Epic, uh, the Epic Game Store and the Google Play Store, they can get this up and running, finally, like people want, and like I know Zen Studios and Act Games wants as well. Moving on, let's talk about some older Arcade One Up cabinets that you may have passed up on or may have been waiting to find a deal on, like the Dragon's Lair cabinet. These are one of those special cabinets from Arcade One Up. They really went above and beyond on the build. Uh, unfortunately, there is some issues, of course, with the sound that uh, we told they're still working on in an update. But if you've been holding out on getting a Dragon's Lair, now may be the time to grab one. So I got to share this news from the brick this past week. I shared it on Super Game Room Dudes Friday, but I wanted to share it with you guys in a dedicated video for Canadian fans. The brick is having a big tent sale from May 2nd to May 20th, where they're clearancing out some of their older stock. So there's a lot of really fun stuff here. Of course, I mentioned the Dragon's Lair cabinet that uh, is currently out there. There's one here in St. John's that's on sale for $548, which is a display model, but they're going to be taking I think it's $200 off the Dragon's Lair, regular price $7.98. That's going to be going on sale for $5.98. Now may be the time for you to grab Dragon's Lair. Of course, Killer Instinct is also going to be on sale for $5.98. If you've never picked up a Killer Instinct cab, it looks like that's one Arcade 1-Up's not going to make again. And last but not least, they've still got stock on the Simpsons Arcade cabinet. And of course, that one can be hacked to add other games with a soft mod. You can pick one up there for $5.98, all three of those cabinets are going to be on clearance from the 2nd to the 20th at the brick so Canadian fans get ready of course we go up and we've got some Toy Shock pinball now a lot of people know Toy Shock is the first out of the gate when it came to the world of digital pinball in the home arcade space but unfortunately they were surpassed by both arcade one up then of course at games with the great at games legends pinball HD as we now call it and of course the uh, At Games Legends Pinball 4K, as now most people are enjoying me, hopefully relatively soon. But if you did miss out on the Toy Shock and wanted to check out these Gottlieb games and get a actual pinball machine that shares the art, much like an arcade one-up of the original Gottlieb pinball machine, now would be a good time to do it before they're all gone here in Canada. So we've got the small ones, the tabletop. This is one I'm actually looking about getting. I'm going to get one of these three, probably the Black Hole pinball machine. It comes with 12 games included, like the main uh, actual Toy Shock pinball, an 18.5 inch full color LCD play field and then flipper buttons and mechanical plungers so those are going to be on sale for 198 bucks regular 398 you can get yourself a tabletop digital pinball I don't know if there's a lot of reviews of these out there in the space I know none of my friends have got their hands on one I may be one of the first and even though this is a product that is pretty much all but dead now maybe I'll still do a review on it and then right underneath that you can still get the classic toy shock pinball with the upgraded board that a lot of people had way back in the day going back to like 2020 of the haunted house variety of course it has the actual cabinet or pinball machine art from uh haunted house 
Then, of course, they've also got the two new models, so you can get Black Hole, which is the one I'm thinking about getting for the tabletop, and Class of 1812. These all have the same games, 24-inch, full-color LCD play field, flipper buttons, and mechanical pl plunger. So both, both cabinets have the exact same features, pretty much, whether you're getting the tabletop or the big one. This one comes with legs. It's a little bit smaller than the Arcade 1-Up, and the Akim's quite a bit smaller than those, but it's very sturdy. You go back to Detroit's Loves video, I mean, you can stand up. On this thing right anyways these are going to be on sale 200 bucks off as well regular 798 down to 498 so really in the pinball space here in canada this is your cheapest entry into the world of digital pinball you can get it and just play it like it is or you know use it as a base to mod if you wanted to build your own digital pinball base i know that's what my buddy detroit love did so toy shock pinball check your local listings to see what's available now, if those machines don't excite you and you're looking for something maybe a little bit more modern, a little new, you might want to check out your local marketplace listings, believe it or not, because the brick is actually selling some of their display models on sale now through marketplace listings. I show this every week when I go into store surf and show what they've got in stock, but right now they've got Dragon Slayer, Killer Instinct, and Marvel vs. Capcom 2. They're in store here in St. John's for $5.48. I was going to go back and see if I could get a Dragon Slayer that wasn't display for that price, so I'll still try to do that. If not, I'll avail of the May 2nd to May 20th sale. Dragon Slayer's coming back, baby. But you can also get a Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which is very tempting at 548. And then Killer Instinct, again, if you miss out on this, it's under the May, the second to May 20th sale. But that's not the only place that has them. You can also check out this listing. This is in Collingwood, Ontario. Um, my buddy Conti Dinta sent this to me. So they've got a Turbo Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition Hyper Fighting for 578 in store. They've also got a Time Crisis display model there for 598. So the cheapest we've ever seen time crisis here in Canada has been $6.99. You want to pick it up for a little bit cheaper, you can get a display model for $5.98 in Collingwood, Ontario. They've got other models there too, the Pac-Man Plus Cabaret, I think that's really cheap. You can get your hands on an iArcade Retro Mania Edition Big Buck Hunter. Is that everything they got there? They got the Miss Pac-Man 40th, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and they still got Turtles in Time stock. And an NBA Jam XL. You don't see those every day. NBA Jam XL for $5.98. Simpsons, Blitz, Killer Instinct. They got a lot there. A lot more than St. John's does. But anyways, check your local brick for the display models. Always going on. Lower price. Also check out your local marketplace listings to see what you can get your hands on for cheap. And it's already built for you, I guess. So anyways, guys, happy Sunday. A little bit of home arcade news to share with you today. Of course, we got an update on the flipper leg on Pinball FX. I still can't tell you exactly how good or bad the flipper leg is. Hopefully, I get my Akims Legends Pinball 4KP in the next couple days. I'll be able to give you my personal opinion. But uh, for those of you that have been worried about the flipper leg, I think this is positive news. I think this is a great message from Act Games and Zen Studios, open and transparent, telling you that this is an issue beyond their reach. They've got to get a little help from the original people to fix the handshake issue. Then, of course, if you're Canadian, you're looking to get cheap deals on Arcade 1 Up cabs and Toy Shock Pinball. If you're looking to check out what Toy Shock Pinball is, especially that tabletop version at 198 bucks, this sale looks like it's perfect for that. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments down below what do you think of the At Games Legends Pinball 4KP Flipper Leg update from At Games. Are you, uh, I don't know, uh, feeling a little bit better now that this update has got out there? And do you think we're going to get a resolution soon? And if you're a Canadian, are you excited about these arcade one-up deals? Anything you're going to grab? I'm going to get Dragon's Lair. Let me know if you're going to get anything. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. Tell your friends about me. This is Michael B. The Game Genie, and I'll talk to you next time.